not traveling, not booking, not eating out with friends, no partying, just lockdowns, empty streets, stay-at-home orders and a new illness spreading around the globe. It sometimes feels like we're living in a movie. The shivering feeling that if you get out of the house you might get hurt takes over and it can be depressing, especially if this keeps on for a longer period. In many European countries, for example in Italy, you have to fill out a form in order to leave your house and you have to have a really good reason for that. In Romania it's the same and after 10 o'clock in the night it's like a zombie movie, in which you cannot leave your house, or you will be captured by these creatures. All of these measures serve their purpose of course, that is to slow down the spread of this messy illness. It's just that the world is changing in a way, we've never experienced before. It's like someone pushed the reset button. After all of this is over, things will most probably never be the same again. This video will cover the greatest changes we will have to live with from now on, so make sure to watch till end. In order to support the channel just make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. What we are experiencing worldwide is something very few are prepared for. In the past two to three months there are great changes that have happened and will last even after all of this is over. First of all, working from home. Many people had to adapt to this shift in their lives. Even those who probably never thought this could happen had to learn to do the same job from the comfort of their home desks. There are others who quickly realized the potential that lies in working from home and started producing more online content. As people are staying home, being online has become even more of a habit than ever before. Working from home has its own advantages, that some business owners might take into account in the near future. When your employees work from home, you won't have to pay that much for rent or electricity, which could save you some money. Also, for some workers it means less costs with gas and less time wasted in traffic. In some industries productivity might not even fall a bit if some of the employees continue working from home. There are also a lot of apps and sites that make this easy. The British cabinet for example meets on Zoom and the company has seen an unprecedented surge since the lockdowns had been put into practice all over the world, since people are using it to stay in touch with family and friends. Solving everyday problems also moved somewhat online. Even in emerging countries, people started filling out documents and filing tax returns online. People are also making appointments online and doctors are writing recipes online. Telemedicine began working at unseen levels till this point. This works for diabetes and hypertension follow-ups, lab results and can be really useful regarding mental health related problems as well. Since many people, especially the elderly had to learn video conferencing it might stick with them even after this health crisis ends. It could mean less time spent on the road and in waiting rooms. The next lesson that will probably serve us in the future as well is the importance of delivery services. As people are staying home and are not allowed to go to restaurants, ordering food and other items from home has become very common. It's one of those industries so to say, which saw an increase in revenue and is looking to hire thousands of people in times when in other industries people are facing layoffs. After about two months of staying inside, calling up delivery becomes more of a habit that could last on. Studying online has also become business as usual. Teachers staying in front of a screen and students studying and learning new skills is a great shift in the way we might be studying in the near future. We've also seen impressive improvements in air quality due to lockdowns. Since airplanes are stuck on the ground, highways are almost empty and some factories are closed, the air is not that polluted. In India you can see the Himalayas from miles and there is a clear improvement to the environment worldwide. This fact might raise some awareness in most countries. The European Union's Green Deal agreement will probably gain more support after this. Another lesson that could change the way we live from now on is related to the way we care for our parents and grandparents. Before this crisis, we somehow didn't find the time to care for them and even to speak to them. This might change in the future because we might realize how lonely they can be and how awful it is to be stuck at home, without your relatives nearby. In some countries volunteers are also reaching out to the ones in need. They bring food to the elderly which brings us to the next change that will most probably take place even after the crisis, that is related to volunteering. For instance, the British government asked for 250,000 volunteers to help the National Health Service during the pandemic. In the end three times the requested number applied. There are many examples to this, but the fact of the matter is that people are beginning to realize once again the importance of helping out without having to be paid for their effort. There is also an ugly side of these lockdowns that is the surge in domestic violence cases. On the other hand they have also raised important questions and alerted authorities and even governments. France for instance urged victims to seek help even in pharmacies and shopping malls using code words if necessary. 
There are still a lot of lessons we have learned in the past months, but let's end this video with one more, that is better hygiene. More hand washing, using face masks and self-isolating when sick will leave its prints on most of us even after this illness is gone. It is clear that there's a shift or let's call it an ongoing change in our lives which we will carry with us after this health and financial crisis. Let's just make the best of these lessons we've learned during harsh times. Thank you very much for watching, stay safe and take care.